let's explore a really interesting topic, blending modes. This is one of the most popular design trends right now. We'll start with Duotone. Just click Edit, go to Effects, and select Duotone. This mode pairs two colors together, and Canva gives you lots of ready-made templates. Let's try the Mustard preset. From here, I can tweak the highlights and shadows, adjust the hue slightly, and just look at this picture. It's gorgeous. Finally, I'll add some text, and instantly we've created a modern, eye-catching design. Now, let's add some creativity with image blending. I'll take a photo of a city skyscraper, remove the background, and position it near the subject. To make it more realistic, I'll reduce the transparency. Then use Magic Grab to separate the subject and place the skyscraper image behind. This creates a layered, dynamic effect. You can keep adding other images, repeat the same process, and experiment freely. For finishing touches, I'll drop in a family image and apply a bit of color grading. This is where your own creativity really shines. You can mix, match, and design however you want. But now, let's dive into Canva's real Photoshop style tool, available for free. Go to Apps, type in Blend Image, and select the first option. Here you'll see two layers, top and bottom. For example, I'll set the bottom layer as a jungle background and the top layer as a side view portrait. Then, we choose the blend mode. Let's start with overlay. And wow, look how beautifully the images merge together. Next, I'll try soft light. And the result looks stunning, smooth, and cinematic. Finally, let's test multiply. This one darkens the overall image, which is perfect if you want to add text on top for a dramatic poster effect. That's the power of Canva's blending modes. Which blend mode was your favorite? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more hidden Canva tricks.